Hello. Greetings from Serenity Homestead. I'm kind of bringing you late to the party. What I did, and my grandson just took the trash out. Very prompt and lovely. Didn't ask him, didn't tell him. Good, good boy, proud of him. Anyway, I opened two cans, two regular sized cans. Uh, of course, still fighting ants, obviously. Two regular sized cans of like the generic Eagle brand, not evaporated. I mean, let me put this on. It's cold out there. It's cold. Yep. <clears throat> Um, the sweetened condensed milk. This, in this jar here, we have best choice. I come from Breeze Becks. And we have Baker's Corner. I thought it said choice. I wrote choice on there. It's Baker's Corner from Aldi's. I'll just go ahead and put Aldi on there. Want to show them the experimentation? Uh, the, t you can. Yeah. And this, since a jar really kind of makes more than one, we filled this up with an interesting little mix of half of each that was left. I'm going to put them in my lovely $10 Farmer's Market find. They do, thankfully. It's not going to taste them like it. The, the, oh, come on! I guess I checked higher up. Did you? Come on, I need you to put it down. Oh, thank you. Okay, so put that big top one in last. Yeah. Anyway, this has to be covered. We're not pressure canning it, just using the pressure canner. We want to put some vinegar in. Yeah. So the hard water doesn't bake on the jars. <clears throat> and in my unsweetened tea, and my grandson's southern tea, we threw in some mint things. We put a it's actually tasting uh, okay, like Okay, it's yeah. Like okay, I, there I, you. I put an extra one in there because I didn't know if I need it. Since I put more tea in. So There it's showing up now. Yeah. It I'll, was kinda in the shadow. I was trying right there. That's one of the green like the hard I mints. Hard back hard, hard, hard back. Hard tack mints. Yeah. He's got two in his. I had one in mine. Just I, gives it a slight there's the spearmint. Gives it a slight minty taste. Yes um. Two's a little bit too much because I, I two, think okay. I, I think it tastes like well, I blended them up and that's all it add is. Add some more tea now. Add some more tea now. Yeah, okay, you've got more room in there, so just you know Ooh, put some more with it. Okay then. <clears throat> I'm filling up the pot with cold water. I'm ready for you, dude. Oh, I'll take your own, some of your own sweetened because it is pretty sweet at the moment. No, just pour that in and set the thing down. Okay. Yeah. Now, this has to be covered in water and remain covered the entire time. Oh, at least the can won't blow apart. I don't know if it's the same thing for a jar or not. Man, that was a lot. That is filled to the rim. I'm just barely under, literally, but another thing I like about going ahead and doing it in this is should at least dump on my stove. Okay, I want it around here. There we go. Uh, close, and I'm going to go ahead and loop this down just because, but that should be tucked in there pretty good. I'll turn the heat on. Slower to start. Got it. Just under medium. You want to get it out? And, mm -hmm. Trying to suck it up. Okay. Oh, it won't go past the tea. Watch out. Um, oh, it smells really good. <laughs> oh, the spearmint smells lovely, lovely, lovely. And we made more tea yesterday, remember? Yeah. We made more tea. We are making a shadow. Scooch over a bit. We are ready. Here is everything out of the pan. Oh, really? Yep, this is our perp tea. Now, obviously, um, the water that I'm adding, I can't rinse them. I can't, like, rinse out what's left yeah. here with the tea bags. But Okay, well, I can rinse out of what's in here. There's a little bit in there floating around. Looks really dark and rich. Smells good. Oh, and this is really sweet. I mean, I don't think I did that. Don't think I did that. I added the extra one in. <clears throat> it's clear about my sinuses. That's a lot. That's Lovely, because I figured nothing. I think my nose is clear now. 
follow me too. Okay. <coughs> Dang, we got it hooped on the bottom. Normally doesn't do that. This one looks a little weird. Oh well. It's popping loose. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. It's popping loose just fine. I thought it might be a pain in the butt to get out. Where it pumped out. That's interesting. I didn't think you'd do that. Out. See, I like all my thumb. That's cold. Hey, cold, hey, cold, cold. Yeah, it freezes to your thumb. Here, That's how cold it is, people. Yeah, we want to. Is that water? <laughs> yes, that's the distilled water. It's all distilled in our tea. That's not what we do with our girls. Well, we don't want to just throw it in. There you go. From sick water, which isn't good because our sick water is even worse. Well, it. Should be pretty much coming off in the same place. Should be similar. Pretty much, but they, uh, a couple years back they found a little bit extra lead in there. It than there is here. Like I, the, the Cambridge water, they send out things all the time. It's not safe to drink. It's hideous. And if you've ever seen the movie um, Aaron Brockovich, I just mm -hmm. still wonder. Okay. Anyway, here's a gallon of tea. And what are they? Read it, Aaron Brockovich. Aaron Brockovich. Yep. It's supposed to be based on a true story. And in this batch, I left out a little bit of sugar, like you requested. But there you be. Next gallon ready to roll. And I'm going to throw some in mine at the moment. Ow! Yes, I'm that's hard to push down every it is. time. And if you do it like this morning, I did it like I held my hands more around it a little bit, like trying to be quiet. Oh, well, not this morning. Yesterday morning. Earlier. Um, it trying to be. Me. Trying to be quiet so it wouldn't snap around and make me. Nathan sleeping. <laughs> yeah. And it, it come a little easier. Anyway, we got caramel on. <clears throat> and I see our one three to, hours. Three hours, yes. You know, actually, I was happy with I what I did it at two and a half. And I'm not really going to open this back up and see if it's boiling. I got it right. Yes. <coughs> Hallelujah. I, I think we're going. Maybe I'll <laughs> <laughs> going to be such fun for the viewer. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to hear me dying in the background. Okay. I put It's been on a few minutes, but I set it for two hours and 45 minutes. <coughs> and we will come, and I'm just, I just want it to... Why is that sticky? That's not lovely. I know it's not at all. <coughs> right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this where it just now spilled the stupid milk? Probably. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going to turn this to medium. While I'm standing here, hopefully it'll get it going. And the jars are not sterilized. They do not need to be... <laughs> They do not need to be sterilized because it will be in there more than 10 minutes. <clears throat> it's supposed to be at a rolling boil for three hours. Or, you know, at a boil. Submerged. Completely submerged. Uh, if you do this, you can do it while it's in the cans. But if the can comes up out of the water... Ah, ha, 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 boom! Okay, that was the sound effects, I guess. It can explode. <clears throat> so, That's you have to... Said, boom. You have to pay very close attention when you're yeah. canning it in the can. Especially when but, you get a peek over something. You know. yeah, and but that does work well anyway. But it's it's and it you can can it. You, I mean you can process it like this in the can and set it on your shelf for up to a year. It should still be good. Crack it open when you have family over. Now I have noticed like between two and a half hours and three hours. At three hours, it's getting kind of more solid. It's not hard. You can still pour it, but it kind of sets up more. At two and a half hours, it's a little lighter. It's more pourable. So, 
by the time this comes to boil <coughs> and I turn it down, I'm going to let it simmer for about two and a half hours. I set the timer for, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to back this off. <coughs> to make it two and a half minus the couple that's been on there. Okay, so I have that for 227. <laughs> it's been on here a few minutes. This is going to be the coffee and caramel video. <clears throat> um, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I want it a little lighter, a little more pourable. I want to dip apples in it. These lovely, lovely apples. I thought we ate them all. Boom, there it is. I love the little reddish. I love the golden delicious apples, but I like just the hint of red here and there. Anyway, they're yummy. We just opened the bag and had one. <coughs> now we're going to make some caramel to go with it. I'm sure you're enjoying the coughing too. Mm -hmm. In this, we will come back in... <coughs> Oh, probably about four hours and let you see how it turned out. And in the meantime, we will be sticking a chunk of ham in the oven. A big chunk of ham. A big chunk of ham. And maybe if I find some gumption, I might make some noodles. Some what? Noodles. But you might find some what? If I find some gumption. Like right, right now, I'm no, I'm tired. I don't want to do it. But if I, you know, gag or the gumption. Um, gotcha. <coughs> the umption. I need some umption in my gumption. Anyway, that's an old grandparents' word. Again, most boring video. Caramel apples. No, I think the most boring one might have been asking where we were sitting next to and stuff. <coughs> okay, like anyway, saying. it's going to take all 59 minutes to get <laughs> Get it done with, too. Yeah, we got the bag of golden delicious apples. The... <laughs> Sweetened condensed milk in there, turning into nice, yummy, luscious caramel as we speak. Uh, we'll be back later. We got green beans for supper. We're going to have taters in the wrought iron pan that I moved over there that you probably, yep, you can still you see it right there. Too, <laughs> what? I said you showed them the green beans too, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. We have green beans left from yesterday. We're going to... I fried ham this morning in that skillet. I'm leaving the stuff in it, and that's what I'm frying the taters in tonight. Putting ham in the oven. Going to make gravy or noodles. Green beans from yesterday. They should be really good. Later tonight, we can have some caramel to dip apples in. And I'm going now... Wow, 13 minutes to show what was already jarred up. Oh, in the jars, I open. I took clean jars. We opened the cans of milk. We, you know, filled up each jar. Wait. The part that was left, we it's put in longer. the middle. I know, but I figure since it's a video about that, I may as well tell them how to do it. True. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Had the three clean jars. I put, um, you know, we poured the one can... It, it does like a jar and a half, like when you do the half pint. But um, we put it, like, we filled it up one jar per kind, and then the, the half that was, the part that was left, we filled a third jar with that. So we've got a mix and one of each brand. We'll let you know how they do. But all you do is pour it into your jar if you're not canning it in the can. If you're not canning it in the can. And, you know, you wipe the, nothing else goes in unless you care to add another flavor, which I really did intend to do this time, but I'm checking the two kinds, so it's probably good that I didn't. Just a hint of vanilla in some, a hint of rum in some, buttered rum, yum. Uh, I do that when I make caramel candy. But anyway, all you do is put it in the jar, pour it in a clean jar, put a lid on. Well, I wipe the rim with, vi with vinegar, so it'll... You know, can nicely. Anyway, goes into the pot, simmers for three hours, and then we're done. Yum, yum, yum. Anyway, whether you have a serenity homestead or a chaotic <coughs> homestead, do something, make something, especially if there's somebody else to make something with. Like the coughing hoon there. <coughs> and caramel's on. We're out. Ciao for now.